absolutely hate this, and if you dare do it, they will kill themselves. Hey there, wonderful people, and welcome back to another captivating installment on my channel. A warm welcome to all our new subscribers and followers. Your return to my content is greatly appreciated. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that like button. Haven't subscribed yet? Well, there's no time like the present. Today, we're delving into a topic that holds immense significance for many of you. It's a topic that can profoundly impact your relationships with certain individuals if approached and applied wisely. We're diving into the repercussions of ignoring narcissists. Yes, you heard me correctly. Ignoring a narcissist carries significant weight and it's crucial to understand the implications. Whether you've dealt with a narcissist in the past, are currently entangled with one, or may encounter one in the future, be it in professional or familial settings, this advice demands your undivided attention. It has the potential to be life-changing. Narcissists come armed with a repertoire of tactics to ensnare you. However, there are strategies you can employ to heal and shield yourself from their manipulations, and one of the most effective strategies, ignoring them. Let me emphasize this point. Ignoring a narcissist will provoke a strong reaction. Narcissists detest being ignored. It's more than just a minor annoyance to them. This aversion runs deep, which is why they despise being left without interaction. Ignoring narcissists drives them to the brink of insanity. Understanding this mindset is crucial because it's not merely about avoiding the occasional missed call or unanswered text. It's about making a deliberate choice to consistently withhold responses to their attempts to draw you back into their chaotic world. Every day, you must reaffirm your decision not to engage with their efforts to reel you back in. Consistently choosing not to engage signals your commitment to removing their negative influence from your life. It requires dedication and persistence, but it paves the way for a happier, more peaceful existence, free from their manipulative grasp. Feeling perplexed about whether someone's behavior is merely eccentric or genuinely concerning is a common experience. At times, you may find yourself questioning their grip on reality, especially when their actions seem disconnected from the norms of society. Their responses might lack empathy or understanding, leaving you wondering if there's a fundamental flaw in their cognitive processes. Deciphering whether this unusual behavior is indicative of their true character, or if you're simply misinterpreting the signs can be challenging. However, one effective approach to addressing this uncertainty is through selective engagement. This involves limiting your responses without completely cutting off communication. For instance, if they inundate you with messages throughout the day, consider replying to only a few. Similarly, you might choose to answer just one of their persistent phone calls. By selectively engaging, you establish clear boundaries and gain insights into the nature of the individual's behavior, particularly if they exhibit narcissistic tendencies. Typically, narcissists react strongly and immediately to being ignored, intensifying their efforts to regain your attention. Your phone may be bombarded with a barrage of urgent and demanding messages, and they may become fixated on why you're not responding to their attempts to communicate. Narcissists exhibit this behavior because they despise being overlooked. This intense response is deeply rooted in narcissism. Their craving for attention and validation is insatiable, and feeling ignored triggers a profound blow to their self-esteem. In their desperation to regain your attention and reaffirm their worth, they are willing to go to great lengths, often resorting to extreme measures. Dealing with individuals seemingly influenced by negative forces or demonic spirits can be immensely challenging, particularly when their aim is to sow chaos and discord. In such cases, one of the most challenging yet crucial strategies is to simply ignore them. 
While this approach may seem counterintuitive, it is grounded in a profound logic. Choosing to ignore someone under such circumstances signifies your refusal to be drawn into their destructive cycle. For a narcissist, this disengagement is infuriating. The act of being ignored stirs up deep-seated feelings of childhood neglect or abuse, which may have contributed to the development of their narcissistic tendencies. Thus, ignoring a narcissist goes beyond mere disappointment. It strikes at the core of their emotional vulnerabilities, reminding them of the feelings of insignificance and abandonment they have long sought to escape. If you choose to ignore a narcissist, particularly if you share living space with them, be prepared for their behavior to escalate. Initially, you may notice subtle changes, such as personal belongings being misplaced or tampered with. Despite their ineffective tactics, they are attempting to elicit a response from you. However, your steadfast refusal to engage and provide the reaction they seek may lead them to resort to more aggressive and destructive behaviors. They may resort to damaging or destroying your possessions in a desperate bid to regain your attention. Embracing the grey rock method, where you become as uninteresting and unresponsive as possible, might seem effective. However, be cautious, as this approach could actually fuel their efforts to regain dominance or provoke an emotional reaction from you. In these scenarios, narcissists behave akin to mischievous puppies, craving attention and resorting to destructive behaviours to garner it. While puppies act instinctively and seek interaction, narcissists exhibit such behaviours as a means of asserting dominance and control, stemming from underlying psychological issues. Narcissists resemble children throwing tantrums when ignored, desperately craving attention. Just as young children may resort to disruptive behaviours like tantrums or even property damage when their attempts to gain attention are overlooked, narcissists may escalate their tactics to elicit a response. Managing a narcissist can feel akin to handling a toddler trapped in an adult's body, making this comparison particularly apt. The adage, an idle mind is the devil's workshop, holds true here. Narcissists abhor being ignored because it leaves them idle, deprived of the validation they crave to affirm their existence and self-worth. Their aversion to being ignored is deeply rooted in their psychological makeup. Narcissists rely on external validation to sustain their fragile sense of self, and being ignored cuts off their main source of validation, plunging them into a state of inner emptiness filled with negative thoughts and desperate urges for attention. This inner void often compels narcissists to resort to provocative behaviours in a bid to break the silence and indifference. When ignored, they are forced to confront their true selves, a prospect they vehemently avoid. The silence and disengagement only amplify the negative narrative within them, strengthening the inner voice that constantly whispers of their inadequacy, unworthiness and perceived rejection. Their perception of your silence validates their harshest inner criticisms, amplifying their discomfort. This clarifies why dismissing or avoiding narcissists often triggers such intense responses. They interpret your silence as an existential threat rather than a personal offence, stripping away external validation and forcing them to confront their unfavourable self-perceptions, a confrontation they desperately seek to evade. This dual impact renders ignoring or severing ties with narcissists one of the most potent counteractions, promptly undermining their self-image and coping mechanisms, leading to profound distress. For narcissists, being ignored equates to a threat to their very existence. To grasp their behaviour, consider their reliance on external attention and validation to uphold their self-esteem. Your withdrawal of adulation and affirmation is perceived as an attempt to suffocate them emotionally. They often insinuate, sometimes aggressively, 
that you're attempting to figuratively injure or annihilate them. These accusations may appear excessive, particularly when your actions haven't warranted such extreme responses. Yet, this overreaction underscores their dire need for external validation to navigate emotional survival. Understanding their exaggerated reaction to being disregarded can guide your approach to the situation, aiding in crafting an exit strategy or establishing firm boundaries. However, caution is paramount. If you're not prepared to sever ties with the narcissist entirely, ignoring them may not be the most prudent course of action. It's a simple yet weighty truth. Ignoring a narcissist without complete detachment could escalate their behavior. Comparing the fallout to the defensive response of helmeted frogs underscores its unexpected and intense nature. This metaphor illustrates how proximity to or involvement with a narcissist, despite attempts to ignore them, can swiftly turn a seemingly innocuous scenario into a hostile one. Prepare for turmoil. The chaos and fury you thought you were familiar with may intensify. Their response to being disregarded, while not completely severed, could become volatile as they perceive it as a deliberate denial of something they crave. Distinguishing between implementing a no-contact policy and simply avoiding a narcissist in their presence is crucial. Going no-contact entails completely disconnecting from them, depriving them of the narcissistic supply they seek. Conversely, ignoring them without removing yourself from the situation can exacerbate matters. It's akin to waving a red flag in front of a bull. You're present but not engaging, which can agitate them further. I feel compelled to address a common misconception. Some believe that ignoring a narcissist will cause them to vanish. It's important to understand that narcissists don't truly abandon others. Instead, they place them on a shelf, keeping them available for future use. Ignoring a narcissist does more than simply postpone their actions. It elicits a profound reaction. It seems that ignoring them ignites a malevolent force within them. This reaction is potent because the narcissist perceives being ignored as more than just neglect. It exposes them to internal conflicts and triggers, dredging up their deepest, often childhood, traumas. Their inability to confront their inner turmoil results in unpredictable and often escalating reactions. Understanding the ramifications of ignoring a narcissist is crucial as it delves into their deepest insecurities. This insight aids in navigating the complexities of interacting with such individuals. I trust you found this information valuable as we draw to a close. Remember to prioritize your well-being today. Self-care is essential. In the next video, I'll offer further guidance on this topic. Let's all strive for healing and personal growth. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Your support enables us to raise awareness and assist others facing similar challenges. Thank you for watching, and may your journey be filled with strength and healing. Welcome back to the Narcissist Exposed channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that often flies under the radar, but holds significant importance in understanding the psyche of narcissists. Ever pondered what goes down when you refuse to dance to the tune of a narcissist who's given you the boot? Join me as we explore the tumultuous storm of rage and wounded pride that brews within a narcissist when they're denied the attention and adulation they crave. Despite discarding you and belittling your value, narcissists still expect you to grovel for their approval. But what unfolds when you choose to break free from their manipulation and opt for silence instead? This conversation promises to peel back the layers, revealing just how heavily narcissists rely on external validation and the seismic emotional shockwave that engulfs them when their expectations are shattered. Trust me, this journey into the heart of selfish behavior is not one to be missed. 
Before we kick things off, go ahead and smash that like button below and share this discussion with anyone who might benefit from it. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button to catch more content like this in the future. Together, let's unravel the enigma, empowering ourselves along the way. Now, let's dive right in. Narcissists are notorious for discarding people like used tissues, always calling the shots. They meticulously monitor their supply, their term for the individuals they manipulate and exploit. They orchestrate their relationships to ensure they're never the ones left in the dust until they're ready to move on. But when they ultimately decide to cast you aside, they believe it's their prerogative and consider the matter settled. However, that's just the beginning of the story. Picture this. In the twisted realm of a narcissist's mind, there are a couple of key beliefs they cling to like life rafts in a stormy sea. Firstly, they revel in the notion that you're utterly dependent on them, unable to navigate life's waters without their guiding hand. It strokes their ego, elevating them to a pedestal of perceived superiority. Secondly, they crave the spectacle of your desperate pursuit, relishing in the validation it provides, like a monarch basking in adulation from their subjects. They've meticulously crafted a script where you're cast as the pursuer, feeding their insatiable hunger for significance while subtly eroding your own sense of worth. Now, here's where it gets bizarrely intriguing. The mere thought of you defying their script sends shockwaves through their fragile ego. They're oddly reliant on your negative emotions to prop up their own sense of self-worth. Yet, if you refuse to play your assigned role, their facade crumbles, leaving them hollow and vulnerable. They find themselves adrift, stripped of the power they once wielded over you. Unable to reconcile this loss, they lash out, casting you as the villain in their self-constructed narrative, accusing you of intentionally inflicting pain by withholding the validation they so desperately crave. But wait, it gets even stranger. Amidst all their deceit and manipulation, they somehow manage to twist reality, painting themselves as the aggrieved party. Despite their lightning of transgressions, lying, cheating, demeaning you, and ultimately discarding you, they play the victim, aggrieved by your failure to endure their mistreatment or sacrifice everything for their cause as you once did. Navigating the labyrinthine depths of a narcissist's psyche can feel like traversing uncharted territory. But armed with the knowledge that they're driven solely by self-interest, we gain a clearer understanding of their actions and motivations. It's a peculiar dance with darkness, but understanding the steps can help us navigate the shadows more adeptly. When you defy the expectations of nasty individuals, be prepared for a storm of indignation to rain down upon you. They'll cast blame like a net, ensnaring you in a web of their own making, conveniently forgetting the havoc they wreaked upon your life. Suddenly, they're the aggrieved party, basking in the glow of victimhood, while you're left to weather the emotional fallout. For them, accountability is an alien concept, a foreign land they dare not venture into. Apologies are a luxury they refuse to afford, and the notion of rectifying their wrongs is but a fleeting thought. Instead, they pass the buck, assigning fault to anyone but themselves, unwilling to acknowledge the wreckage they'd left in their wake. In the eyes of a narcissist, reconciliation is merely a facade, a guise to cloak their simmering rage. Their emotions careen like a runaway train, oscillating between seething anger and calculated manipulation. They may entertain thoughts of reconciliation, but beneath the surface lurks a desire for retribution, a longing to settle a score. Their minds are a whirlwind of chaos, fixating on you one moment, only to seek solace in the arms of another the next. It's a perpetual cycle of turmoil, driven by a relentless pursuit of control. Whether they attempt to hoover you back into their orbit, 
or seek solace in the arms of another, their inner turmoil persists, an ever-present reminder of their own inadequacies. So, do narcissists fly off the handle? Absolutely. When they don't receive the desired reaction from you, their fury ignites. Your lack of distress is perceived as a personal affront, a direct assault on their inflated sense of entitlement. All of this stems from their delusional belief that their happiness takes precedence, even if it means causing others pain. It's crucial to grasp the intricacies of narcissistic behavior when navigating interactions with them. Their pretense of harmony serves as a guise to maintain dominance and exploit you further. Their cycle of rage, retribution and denial underscores the depths of their toxicity. They derive perverse satisfaction from inflicting suffering upon others to assuage their own insecurities, a practice steeped in injustice. Armed with this understanding, you can navigate dealings with narcissists more effectively, shielding yourself from the fallout of their malevolent actions. Dealing with narcissists is undoubtedly challenging, but unraveling the motivations behind their behavior can offer a modicum of clarity and self-preservation. Before you depart, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to our incredible viewers who make our endeavors possible. If you appreciate our content and wish to support us, consider contributing as little as one dollar on our Ko-Fi page. Every donation, no matter how modest, contributes to the enhancement and sustenance of our work's quality. As a token of our immense appreciation, your name will be prominently displayed at the outset of our videos as a special acknowledgement of your membership. Your pivotal role in our community is deeply cherished, and your backing empowers us to continue creating the content you cherish. Embark on this journey with us by clicking the Ko-Fi link provided in the following sentence. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for an abundance of insightful content. Spread the word to those who might benefit from it. Additionally, click the link in the description to access a complimentary book on navigating narcissistic relationships and explore our one-on-one -on -one sessions. With your invaluable assistance, we can furnish our viewers with indispensable tools and insights. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, when confronting narcissists, knowledge is your greatest asset. Welcome back to another intriguing episode. Narcissists have a knack for avoiding questions. It's part of their routine, and they typically respond negatively, feeling entitled to keep their inner thoughts private. Delving into their inner world feels like unearthing buried emotions they'd rather keep concealed. Today, we're delving into specific inquiries that consistently prompt narcissists to dodge, deflect, or engage in mind games, seven in total. Exciting, isn't it? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to catch our upcoming episodes. But before we delve into the questions, here's a little something for you. Have you ever posed a question that made a narcissist squirm? Share your experiences in the comments. We're all in this together. Now let's dive into the first question. 1. Why do you act so friendly towards people you barely know? Are you trying to hide your true self when meeting new acquaintances? While many see networking as an opportunity to be amiable, narcissists view it as a chance to manipulate. They aim to garner support by portraying themselves as someone they're not, all to earn respect, admiration and attention. Narcissists weave elaborate tales to evoke specific emotions, showcasing their superficiality. New acquaintances may find them charming, but it's all a facade. Have you observed someone close engaging in this behavior? Share your anecdotes in the comments. Now let's move on to question number two. Here's the next question for exploration. Two, why do narcissists become uneasy when faced with opinions, preferences, or thoughts that differ from their own? Their discomfort primarily stems from their need for control. 
Anything conflicting with their established worldview is perceived as a significant threat. They interpret divergent opinions as challenges to their authority, triggering feelings of unease. Narcissists crave agreement, validation, and obedience from others. Asserting your individuality is akin to breaking their established rules and defying their dominance, which they perceive as betrayal. Their perspective remains self-centered. They expect everyone to conform to their desires. When confronted with differing viewpoints, they perceive it as unjust and resist it vehemently. Resistance to their influence instills a sense of losing control, prompting them to seek ways to alter or erase your uniqueness. Now let's proceed to the third question. Let's move on to the next question. 3. Have you ever delved into their inner struggles and pains? Posing this question to a narcissist often results in a puzzled expression. They steadfastly maintain they've never encountered significant traumas or endured profound emotional wounds. Wrapped in an aura of self-importance, they dismiss the notion that past events could have left a lasting impact on them. Even if they acknowledge past adversities, they adamantly assert that these incidents failed to affect them in any meaningful way. Probing their behavior in light of these experiences often triggers accusations of scrutiny and judgment. Sadly, they remain oblivious to the fact that their present harmful conduct is often rooted in their past mistreatment. Refusing to acknowledge the influence of their history on their current behavior, they steadfastly evade accountability. Now let's proceed to question number four. Four. Why do narcissists struggle to acknowledge their imperfections? Instead of owning up to their flaws, narcissists consistently deflect blame onto others. Their reluctance to admit any wrongdoing stems from a fortress of defensiveness they've meticulously constructed. To them, acknowledging their mistakes would equate to conceding they are no different from ordinary individuals a notion they vehemently reject. They cling to the delusion of their own perfection and invincibility, positioning themselves as quasi-divine entities immune to error. Yet, as we all know, no one is exempt from making mistakes. Now let's delve into question five. Let's venture into the next inquiry. Five. Have they ever contemplated the need for personal growth or transformation? If you dare to pose this question, brace yourself for a tumultuous encounter. Their reaction will likely mirror a vehement defense against an assault on their very essence. Admitting the necessity for change implies inherent flaws and a relinquishment of absolute control, concepts they simply cannot abide. Mere suggestion of their potential for growth evokes feelings of shame and elicits a fervent defense of their perceived infallibility. To them, the notion of change signifies vulnerability, posing a direct threat to the fortress of egotism they meticulously constructed. They adamantly refuse to entertain the idea that change might be necessary, demanding unwavering obedience, curtailing dialogue, forbidding further inquiries, and insisting on subjugation to their desires. It's confounding how they overlook the universal imperative for personal evolution and development, particularly in nurturing healthy relationships. Yet, their veneration of their idealized self-image eclipses any recognition of the value of individual progress. Now let's embark on our next exploration. 6. Do you genuinely believe your perspectives reign supreme over everyone else's? It's a perplexing reality that some individuals grapple with even the simplest of decisions, from choosing a vacation spot to navigating political ideologies. They harbor opinions on every matter under the sun, staunchly convinced that their stance is not just valid, but unequivocally superior. What irks me most is their steadfast refusal to entertain alternative viewpoints. They wield their own perspective as the ultimate truth, dismissing all others with an air of disdain. 
This behavior stems from a deep-seated belief in their own superiority, as if their thoughts are inherently more valuable than those of others. They exhibit a profound reluctance to acknowledge differing opinions, viewing such considerations as beneath them, and potentially threatening to their inflated sense of self-worth. It's exasperating to witness their blatant disregard for the importance of respecting diverse perspectives. Their aversion to doing so is rooted in the fear that acknowledging alternative viewpoints might diminish their own perceived importance. Now let's proceed to our next compelling question. 7. Why do those who harbour disdain for you persist in returning? Don't anticipate candid revelations from them. They won't readily admit that they crave attention, a lifeline they simply can't forsake. Instead, they'll contort reality, deflecting blame onto you. They might assert, I return out of pity for you, or I hate witnessing your sorrow, hence I remain by your side. Yet the truth remains veiled. They derive satisfaction from witnessing your anguish, reveling in the control and significance it affords them. They'll castigate you for purportedly anchoring them to the past, yet in truth, they're the ones ensnared by the allure of your attention. They yearn for it as desperately as they do for air. Such individuals recoil from introspective queries, thwarting any prospects of authentic discourse or connection. If you encounter someone of this ilk in your life, remember, you cannot reform them. Instead, prioritize your own healing, fortify your boundaries, and safeguard your emotional well-being. It's a formidable task, but an indispensable one. Should you find these insights beneficial, share your reflections in the comments. Subscribe for further elucidation on navigating through tumultuous relationships. Until then,